What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon Red. In the last part, uh, we basically uh, got all the way up to Mount Moon. And also, off screen, uh, I raised uh, my Jigglypuff off screen and uh, I taught it the Jigglypuff both Pound and Disable. I got it up to level 14. Now, um, we're going to go inside Mount Moon in this part. Now, I should also give you a nice fair warning. At this point in the game, you cannot buy repels. So. I've thought about this, but like, I used to be a big repel hog in Pokemon. These days, not so much anymore because you do miss out on a lot of XP. Um, anyway, so the new Pokemon you can find in this route are Zubat, and uh, it's definitely most common. And uh, unfortunately, it can't evolve into Crobat in this generation. So uh, yeah, you're kind of going to miss out on that. But uh, you're going to find Geodude, which is uh, one of the Pokemon that can evolve through trade. But... I've decided I'm going to make it a rule not to evolve a Pokemon, get get Pokemon on my team where you can only evolve through trade. So, Geodude, Machop, and Abra, and Ghastly are out of the question. Anyway, so the third Pokemon you can find is uh, is Clefairy, which is very rare, but uh, it's an HP tank like Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff's more offensive, where Clefairy's more defensive. I chose to go with Jigglypuff because I like the moves it learns more, but... um. But, uh, yeah, and the fourth Pokemon you can find is, uh, Paris, which is a really good HM Slate for Cut. But I have a different idea for an HM Slate. Oh, wow, I just got poisoned. Actually, I think the next one's a Kakuna, but, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna use the Anna, because the Kakunas do not know, uh, Poison Sting in Gen 1. I used the wrong thing! Yay! I meant to use this antidote. I'm. There's like two videos in a row I've not paid attention to what I was using. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's just say, um. Yeah, they're gonna. They're just gonna fly out spam hard, and so this might take a well, while. Actually, it's not. It's actually doing quite a bit of damage, actually. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go through Mount Moon because we have to go through here, and, uh. Like I said, any new Pokemon we will, uh, I'll show in the video. Any unnecessary encounters like repeats, I'll cut, I'll cut out of the video. And it's used hard in all six times. So, uh, I remember that old Smosh video where it was like, uh, making fun of the fact that Metapod, all it knows is hard. And it's like the fucking level 100 Metapod and all it knew was hard in. Anyway, critical hit. So, um... And as we did not get a level up, unfortunately, but, uh, you know, so I actually want to grab this right here. It's, uh, it's a potion. That's not actually what I wanted to grab. But I actually want to grab PM12, which contains, uh, it contains water gun. So I'm actually going to teach that to our Jigglypuff. We're going to have a secondary Pokemon take out rock types. Because we're going to get a lot of rock type encounters in this, uh, area. Anyways, that was another Zubat. So, uh, this is a new trainer. This is a, uh, Lass. What? I'm waiting for my friends to find me here. So, uh, yeah, this Lass is actually gonna have, uh, Clefairy, I believe. It is gonna have a Clefairy. It's gonna have, uh, level 14 Clefairy. So, uh, I don't think... I'm gonna try to see if I can put this to sleep and pound it to death. Jigglypuff's sting isn't always accurate, though, but I'm just gonna put this to sleep and pound it to death. Because Clefairy is also faster than Jigglypuff, so, uh... So, yeah, Sleep can last any time, anywhere between, uh, one and seven turns, I believe. Yeah, woke up. In Gen 1, it also, it can't learn to move while it's sing. Oh, it puts me to sleep! Yay! But, uh, yeah, in Gen 1, uh, you can't use your move. You have to wait through your turn. So, it can, you, can, you can be put to sleep multiple times in a Gen 1 playthrough. We're gonna try to see if we can put this to sleep once again. There we go. Alright, and spam pound. I just want Jigglypuff to get the XP, and I'm probably gonna go back and heal the Pokemon Center once I'm done with this battle. 
All right, one more hit, and uh, it woke up. But it doesn't matter, because one more hit, and it's dead. Yay. And Peach is level 15. Anyway, so I'm going to go back and heal, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so back. Alrighty, so back to where we were at Mount Moon. Hey, a new Pokemon. It's actually a Geodude. So, uh, we're, it's a solid defensive tank, but uh, we're not going to use it on my team because I have a rule we're not going to use Pokemon. We have to trade another version of Fully Evolve. So, yeah, Geodude's out of the question. I have a different idea for something that can take out Electric types, but uh, it's going to be later on. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm actually going to go in here really quickly because I want to get a TM in here. Anyway, so that was a Zubat, so... Hey, there's a new Pokemon. So this is a Paris. Um, this is a really good HM Slave. However, I have a different idea for an HM Slave, so I'm not going to be catching this. So uh, if you can kill one of these... Paris is a horrible Pokemon, just a really good HM Slave. And it still did 7 damage, but um, we're still going to take this out. And uh, yeah, that's what's going on for every day. Paris is a horrible Pokemon. Anyway, so this is a new type of trainer. We, Team Rocket, are Pokemon gangsters. Anyway, so Rocket sent out Sandra. So we have, we know Water Gun. Unfortunately, though, Peach isn't going to get the same type of attack bonus we'd get with War Turtle. That didn't even do much. Let's see if the Pound gives us more same type of attack bonus. Which, that was a critical hit, but, uh. Alright, so we're gonna switch out of this. I think we're gonna level up also. Alright, Peach is level 16. Alright, Radida. Let's send out our Warfare, which I did get up to level 20 prior to recording this video. Anyway, so let's go for the same type of attack bonus, and, uh, yeah, Radita is toast. Radita can be particularly annoying Pokemon to fight, but, uh, I'm just gonna keep War Portal out. I'll use some of my potions to get, uh, Jigglypuff's HP back up. And that didn't one-shot it. Oh my god. Anyway, here's Confusion. So, it has a 50-50 shot whether or not you hit the Pokemon yourself, and I thankfully hit the Pokemon because most of the time I hit myself in that. Anyways, we defeated Rocket. Now, um, here's a little, uh, actually, here's something I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna, um, actually, this is an HP app, but I'll use this anyway. I'll take this anyway. You, if you want to use, like, uh, any kind of, uh, vitamins, you want to use it to your highest health, I'm using it on Peach. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually gonna use one of my escape ropes. So, uh, I'll see you guys, uh, back to the top of this.
anyway, so now back at the top of this, there's actually one trainer I want to fight down. He has an optional trainer, but uh, this is a new type of trainer. What? Don't sneak up on me. Anyway, so uh, this new trainer is a uh, is a super nerd. A super nerd sent out a magnet. Super nerds are going to have either like electric types or poison types. But anyway, so um, just pound. Now, Magnemite is not part Steel in Gen 1 because Steel types don't exist yet. So, uh, so I can use Pound whenever I want. But even if Magnemite were part Steel type, Water Gun would do normal damage. But, uh, you know, so Voltorb. Voltorb is one of the fastest Pokemon in the whole game. So I know for a fact we're not going to outspeed this. But, uh, thankfully Tackle misses. But, uh... And Screech Bale, so that's even better. So, uh, yeah, we breeze through this fight. Jigglypuff is not very good right off the bat, but it's going to take a while to get good. We have to give this some moves, let's just say. But, uh, let's uh, go over here. And Peach is level 17. And we're facing a trainer. Go to the cave to get to Cerulean City. Anyway, so uh, this is a uh, bu another bug catcher. And uh, once again, he's going to have a level 10 Caterpie. Thankfully, we're because we have two team members, we're going to be significantly overleveled for a while, let's just say. Let alone one Pokemon that's really easy to race because it isn't fully evolved yet. I get there's a metapod, so uh Yeah, like I said, all metapod knows is hard. Even like in trainer battles, all metapod knows is hard and all that's kinda of strange. Anyway, so uh, another another level ten category. There's no butterfree, unfortunately. It would have been nice if it had been Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree. We got the whole evolutionary trio. I even outspeed this. Oh my god. Anyway, so we defeated Bugcatcher. So I actually want to fight this trainer so I can get this thing down here. It's a. Uh... It's actually not a wild encounter. I'm actually going to use my potion to kind of get ourselves fully healed. But um, let's see what, how close Jigglypuff is to leveling up. 156 XP. So this right here is a rare candy, which will allow us to get a Pokemon leveled up by one. So one thing I'm going to do when we also get another escape rope. One thing I'm going to do is uh, we're basically going to get Jigglypuff up a level. And on top of that, once we get our upper level, uh, we're basically gonna basically we're basically gonna use the rare candy. So we'll go from level 18 to level 19. Anyways, to say last, these are new Pokemon we're gonna face. This is Oddish. Now, uh Oddish is exclusive to red, so and Bellspark is exclusive to the blue. So uh because of that, we're not gonna use an Oddish. I've used Oddish on my team. It's not really a, a fantastic Pokemon, let's just say. You're, if you want a grass type, you're better off just choosing Bulbasaur at the beginning of the game. Anyway, so Peach is level 18. And uh, Bellsprout. She's Pound. Bellsprout's got less defense than, uh, yeah, Bellsprout's got less defense than, uh, Bellsprout's more offensive, or, uh, Oddish is more defensive, but, uh, either way, we beat the, uh, Bellsprout. Now, how close are we to level 19? So, I might just wait till we level up before, uh, yeah, I'll just level up to level 19. Let's just use a rare candy on, uh, Jigglypuff. I think we're gonna learn a move also. He's just trying to learn Defense Curl. I'm actually going to teach her that. Teach him that. Let's get rid of Disable. 
Yeah, defense girl is a very solid move, but um, yeah, we, we're 913 XP, so it's gonna be a while before we get to level 20. So uh, yeah, so I think all, the, all that's all we can really do in uh, when we're trying to say uh, Mount Moon. First, we fight a trainer. Before becoming an explorer too, I did. A, let's just say I did lots and lots of grinding before the. It actually wasn't really didn't really take that long. It took like 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna use defense curl a couple of times. Bad idea, actually. Big mistake. Yeah, I'll just uh, I think I'll just uh pound it then. Yeah, I, I don't think this is gonna be a good shot with a ratted uh. I took it out in one hit anyway. Yeah, it's gonna, I think this got. I think this young girl also has three radios, so we can just flat out take it out in one hit. But that, that's a critical hit. Actually, two radios and a Zubat. Never mind. But um, be able to one shot this too. We're significantly over leveled for this part of the game. All right, so uh, we defeated Youngster. Losing stinks. So uh, yeah, let's use our uh, potion. Let's use our another potion, actually. I have a couple of escape ropes in case uh, we start to have trouble once we get deeper in here. Anyway, so now we got that wild encounter on our system, but we're going to face this guy. This is a new type of trainer. Whoa, you shocked me. Oh, you're just a kid. This is a new type of trainer. It's a hiker. Hiker wants to fight, and uh, Hiker sent out Geodude. So, uh, you guys going to have a level 10 Geodude. So, uh, we'll get some good XP out of this, but uh, maybe it's enough to get a level up, actually. Maybe it's not, but it's gonna. I think it's gonna have two Geodudes and Onyx. Which Onyx is the Pokemon we can't get yet. Yeah, it's gonna have two Geodudes and an Onyx. Thank Critical Hit did six damage. Thankfully, Onyx is a uh, time for a week of water, so. Even with a no same time time rush, we clean sweep this team. But uh, yeah, Peach is level 20. And we feed Hiker. Now I'm actually going to uh, swap out really quick. Um, let's try to see if we can get Bowser up a few levels because, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. But uh, I actually want to go up here for a second. We get a Moonstone, which actually can evolve a Jigglypuff. So we can flat out evolve our Jigglypuff right away. I'm not going to do that because any Pokemon that evolves through stone. Yeah, so any Pokemon that evolves through stone, it's really not a good idea to evolve them unless it's learned all the moves you wanted to. In this case, I'm not going to evolve Jigglypuff. In this case, I'm not going to evolve Jigglypuff until it's uh, level 39 and learns Double Edge, which will be much later in the game. So I actually want to face this trainer right here. This is the reason I also switched out to uh, War Troll, because this trainer is particularly annoying. That's one of the most annoying Pokemon in the game to face, Eradicate. Which is not even the level Radit evolves, but this is the first time I've seen Eradicate. Now, I want to have more defense, because it's going to know Hyper Fang, so that did 15 damage and we even flinch, meaning we can't take our turn. So, uh... Yeah, so which strategy is to tail up and hyper fang you? And it's also faster than us, so uh shit. I'm gonna use the remainder of my potions, but uh 
Yeah, that was not a very good battle, I should say, but that's the only Pokemon he has, so uh, we're using our remaining potions. We still have the escape ropes, but I believe I could get, I can get out of Mount Moon. Now we just can't really get much more Wally Cows. How close is War Turtle to a level up? 154 XP. So, uh, at level 24, War Turtle's gonna learn Bite. Anyway, so level 24 War Turtle's gonna learn Bite, which is actually not that far away. So, unfortunately, though, in Generation 1, Bite's a normal type move, so I don't think we can use that against Psychic types. But anyway, I'm actually gonna switch. I'm actually gonna, um... See if I can force a Wild Encounter. That's not actually what I wanted, but, uh, one more encounter. Come on, get the encounter, get the encounter, get the encounter. Come on, I'm moving up and down. Get an encounter, damn it. Come on. And Bowser's level 21. That's why I wanted to do that. So I can actually swap him out for a Peach. Ooh, how close is she level 21? Eight or something. Out of so if we can get them both level 21, we'll be over level for the next portion. But uh, this is another rocket. Team Rocket will find the fossils, revive, and sell them for cash. And Rocket wants to fight, and Rocket sent out Radida. And we're just gonna use pound, and uh, I don't think when, again it's gonna use tail whip, so we're not gonna really use uh, defense curl. We didn't one shot, unfortunately. The so tail whip failed, thankfully. All right, Zubat. I don't think I need to use defense curl. Yeah, it's only doing five damage. So yeah. And Jigglypuff is an HP tank, so, uh, yeah. Jigglypuff, I'd say, is good for a Gen 1 playthrough. It just takes a while to get good, let's just say. I'm definitely not good for, like, competitive play. I'd say only for casual playthroughs in the very early games. Maybe even just Gen 1, but, uh, now I actually want to go over here. We go... Anyways, but I think it's actually here. No, it's actually up there. Never mind. But uh, if we go over here, we find another Moonstone. So, uh, yeah. We're not going to evolve Jigglypuff just yet. Anyway. Hey, stop. I found these fossils. They're both mine. Anyway, Super Nerd Balls of Balance. Super Nerd Balls of Balance. First time we've seen poison types. Actual poison types. Not just bug poison. But um, I'm going to use Defense Curl. A couple of times. Yeah, it's doing four down. Let's do it one more time. Actually, let's do it a fifth time. Oh yeah, doing three damage. So let's just uh use let's just spam pound. Oh uh, yeah, not doing much damage. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, if you can if you can do it, use it right. Jigglypuff is great for a Gen One playthrough. Voltorb, yeah, again, same. Not gonna do much damage. Yeah, two damage. <laughs> and Peach is level twenty-one. Now let's see how much popping does. Popping can also get a significant amount of XP.
And yeah, we defeated Super Nerd. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll kind of explain it right here. So, uh, this is the Dome, the Helix Fossil, and this is the Dome Fossil. The Dome Fossil gets you Ammonite and the, uh, actually Kabuto, and the Dome Fossil gets you, uh, Ammonite. So, uh, we're gonna take the Helix Fossil. If you're playing, if you're trying to complete Pokedex, you have to take both different fossils in different versions, because he's gonna take this one here. But, uh, yeah, so we're almost out of Mount Moon. Anyway, so we're almost out of our noon. Now, if you're playing the yellow version, T Jesse and James in the anime will challenge you over here. So, uh, we just gotta get to the skewer. And, uh, we're out of Mount Moon, and we're on, uh, now, um, we're now on, uh, Route 4. So, new Pokemon you can find on this route. Only in red you can find Ekans, and in blue you can find Sandshrew. Neither Pokemon I really find fantastic, so I'd say just pass on those. But, uh... There's actually one TM you can get over here, I think. Uh, yeah. It actually contains Whirlwind, but it's, uh, not a very good move, in my opinion. It's probably in Gen 1, because Gen 1, you're not, you can't use it in Trainer Battles, just, uh, Rattles. Also, if you go down this thing, you cannot go back up there until much later on. So, uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, so, uh, welcome to, welcome to Cerulean City. I guess now is an appropriate time to cut it off in this part of Pokemon Red. So, next time Pokemon Red, we're going to see what we can do in uh, Cerulean City. See you guys then.